I'm here with Laurent Cerati. He is the chef and owner of Fleur de Sel uh, Artisan Crepery here in Spokane and also another restaurant called Fleur de Sel. Yes. And we are in the kitchen at Second Harvest Food Bank. I know, what a great spot. Uh, it's a great uh, place. Uh, it's a huge uh, distribution center for over 200 Food, food bank in the area. And, and you have used this kitchen before. You get to teach some classes here. Yes, I do. On that. a regular uh, basis. Once a month. That's I, so uh, awesome. I do uh, give a class, uh, simple food, whatever is in the warehouse we pick. We improvise. Sure. Uh, simple family uh, dinner or lunch. I bet they love you. And so today we're going to be working with some great looking Washington pears, yes, right? Yeah, those are barlet pears from the beautiful orchards of Washington. You taught me something about uh, how... Well, I learned from yes. a pear farmer yeah. that to tell uh, if a pear is ripe is that you just gently push by the stem and if it has a little bit of a give, it's you don't want it to be to mushy. Yeah. But yeah, let's I learned we something. Go. We learn something every day. <laughs> no. So we're going to want to do a dessert, uh, a dessert with a pear. Okay. Something uh, traditional, not so traditional. Poached pear in red wine with okay. a creme anglaise. And that sounds hard. Thing. No, it's not. It's not? No, it's not. Right and here. yes, and uh, <laughs> and with a little uh, coconut uh, cookie. Oh, so uh, nice. we uh, we're gonna start with uh, by poaching the the pear. Our first step is to create a poaching liquid. We started off with a bottle of red wine. A whole bottle that? of red wine. Well, why not? Why not? You know, we, we... I like you, Laurent. <laughs> put that uh, sugar in. Sugar. We're gonna make a syrup. Then we add a cinnamon stick, vanilla bean, and some orange peels. Then we are going to uh, peel those, uh, those uh, beautiful pear, remove the core with the knife. You make it look so easy. No, I've been doing that I since know. I'm uh, 15 years old, <laughs> and I'm an old man. And you're so. an old man. While our pears cook in the poaching liquid, we start to make coconut cookies. So, we're going to make the coconut tuile cookies. Okay. Very easy. I have coconut, coconut. shredded, unsweetened, mm -hmm. powdered sugar, Lots of right? powdered sugar. Lots of okay, powdered sugar. Those in there. We're gonna put five eggs mm -hmm. in it. We're gonna mix it. One of the easiest cookie you can make. Yeah, easiest. so far, really easy. Oh, and it's not so far. This is it. This is it, and We're then you have some butter. Butter so that, that I'm melting. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put some butter in there, and this is it. Laurent mixes in the melted butter and then places small dollops of dough onto a silicone baking pad. We bake our cookies for about seven minutes until they're golden brown and crispy. And, and look those how they, look beautiful. And they are beautiful. Now we're making our creme anglaise. The third part of this, huh? Yes, English cream. Creme anglaise. Yes, creme anglaise. Good like accent. That? Ah! That's good. <laughs> creme anglaise. Uh. To start our creme anglaise, we boil a pot of milk and vanilla bean and then whisk together egg yolks and sugar. But you drank this as a kid, like just oh. kind of as a little treat. Was it a treat? Have you ever had creme anglaise? No, I don't think I have. It's it's like, okay, you like eggnog? Y yeah. It's better than eggnog. It's better than eggnog. <laughs> we add the boiling milk to the eggs and sugar. After it's all mixed in, Laurent adds it back into the pot and continues to whisk until the cream gets to 182 degrees. We're going to let it sit a little okay. bit and then we're going to transfer it and put it in the fridge. Yum. Okay? Okay. After all of our elements have cooled, it's time to put it all together. All right, we have all the elements to we build do. to build our dessert. We have so our this is pear. something that needs to be cold. Yes, you eat it yes. cold. So, so the pears are cooked and they are poached. Mm -hmm. You leave them in the poaching liquid. Do you put it and, in the fridge or yeah, in the fridge? Okay, and then the the cream, the creme anglaise, here, the creme anglaise is, is also cold. cold. Okay, also. and the cookies are cold as well. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So we're gonna do a little. Uh, we're gonna fan. Those pear. I'm gonna oh, pretty. Cook them like this. Put them. You see how beautiful mm -hmm. they are. I love how they absorb the color. Oh, the color is beautiful. Yeah, That's it's a beautiful. fall color, right? It is. We add a bit of creme anglaise and drizzle on a syrup that Laurent made from the leftover poaching liquid. We top it off with a coconut cookie, and then our beautiful dessert is ready to try. Ladies first. Merci. De rien. Ooh. <laughs> I could drink gallon again of that creme anglaise, mm. but I don't think uh, mm. I would. You can really taste the spices in the yeah. in the pear. Yep. Laurent, you're the best. Um, you're the best. <laughs> We're the best. To get the recipe for Laurent's poached pear dessert, head over to wagrown.com.